Hi there and thanks for watching this video which is demonstrating my custom programming language called D-flat uh, by running a game of Tetris. So I shall first go into D-flat and then the directory listing, listing here shows something called Tetris.prg which is my D-flat Tetris game. And while that's loading I will quickly show you the hardware on which it's running, which is a custom homebrew computer that I've designed and built, hosted inside a BBC Micro case using a BBC Micro keyboard, but essentially it's a 6502 with TMS 9918 and AY38910 sound. So basically an MSX, but with a 6502 in terms of hardware. The SD card there is flashing away, showing me that it's loading its blocks for the program, and now it's stopped flashing. I can also see the screen that uh, D flat has loaded that successfully. Let me show you very quickly what a program looks like in D flat. Um, D flat does not have go to or go sub, so even though it's a variant of basic, the line numbers are only used to sequence the default execution. Um, order of, of a program uh, but you cannot transfer control <clears throat> for example to run a subroutine or to um, do an if-then else statement uh, using uh, line numbers so, so essentially uh, it's, a, it's a fairly structured version of basic uh, you can see there at the very top of this line you can see some custom commands uh, sprite on line 120 that's a, a command to uh, to show a sprite at a certain position on the screen using a certain character etc. So basically I'm using D flat built-in keywords to implement this game so there's no uh, other assembly or special pokes and peaks I'm having to do. So let me start this game for you now um, and whilst that is running so you can hear the sound effects going on here. The sprites are uh, four sprites are being used to essentially show the, the the moving block as it goes down the screen. And then once it's it hits, once it can't go any further, then that then I'm just basically plotting that onto the screen physically. So the sprites is uh, the reason I can do that zooming in effect, that smooth zoom in effect. And, and of course you can hear also the um, the sound effects there all, all again using D flat so I'm purposely just building up the lines here because the way that the scoring works on D flat is that if you complete a line higher up on the on the game board you get more points for it also if you get multiple lines um, you are given a score multiplier so uh, what I'm going to do is just build up this uh, a little bit obviously it encourages the player to try and take some risks in terms of how far to build up the game board before trying to complete lines I think I'll stop here just as an example to show you as you complete a line of uh, a line of uh, on the game board then um, obviously you're expecting those, those lines to be eliminated which is what's happened there um, that's implemented using strings so it's an array of strings each element of the uh, the array each string representing one line of the game board um, and when a shape can't go any further what I'm using is a string manipulation to update the appropriate string uh, to make sure um, I've recorded what the shape of the game board is um, obviously uh, what I did do was uh, originally implemented this using uh, a 2D array of integers with each integer representing a single block on the game board uh, and whilst that worked uh, fine it was noticeably slower than this I mean I think in my eyes anyway this looks pretty much um, instantaneous uh, let's have a let's give you another go here I mean that's pretty quick uh, you could see that being redrawn when I had this implemented with a set of integers because it was having to move a, uh, quite a lot of integers around in the array once um, the uh, once again once again a line had been completed. So, um, so that's my my game. I hope uh, that was of interest and uh, has given you some some maybe uh, ideas for writing um, your own interpreters and games. Um, 
and uh, what I will do is just just to finish this game off I'm going to take it right the way to the top because there's a high score table here which um, I hope now we've got 119 I should get into the high score table so again using the joystick um, and what you could see there was a number of different um, things happening on the screen so d has got some timers as well to help you uh, time events they're not really events you, you have to use a game loop and then call the appropriate subroutines when a timer has expired it won't do it for you but, but having uh, a bunch of timers helps uh, in doing that a lot so as I say that is my game I think it looks pretty much like a, a decent game of Tetris from the era um, so I'm quite pleased with it uh, quite pleased with the fact that you can do all of this using D flat which is a purely interpreted language um, running on a 2.68 megahertz 6502 um, I have a website um, a blog actually on Hackaday uh, I'll provide the link if you want to know more then there's lots more on that website source code uh, some more hardware and circuit discussions etc so thank you very much for uh, watching this video and I hope you found it interesting